Okay, hello, my third grade students. This is lesson 1.9. This is the break apart strategy for subtraction. We have already used the break apart strategy for addition, so you should be pretty familiar with this. We are not following this example here, okay? So we're not following that example there. We are doing the break apart strategy. So the first thing you want to do, let's look at number two, is I would write it vertical so it's easy to see. And Okay, so 93 minus 28. Now the break apart strategy, you want to look at each number and find out its worth or its value. So the nine is worth 90. Then the three is in the ones place, so it is worth three. The two is worth 20 because it is in the tens place. And the eight is worth eight because it is in the ones place. So you are breaking apart these numbers based upon their place value. Now you're going to subtract 90 minus 20 is 70. Oh, I actually made a mistake here. I didn't even look. I should have started on the right hand side. Well, that's just a good reminder that you need to start on the right hand side in case you need to borrow. So I cannot take away eight from three. So I need to borrow from the 90. The 90 becomes 80. So I've taken away 10 and I am going to put that 10 with the three. So three plus 10, because I'm taking 10 away here and I'm adding it to the three. Three plus 10 is 13 now. All right, so now I can subtract. 13 minus eight is five and 80 minus 20 is 60. Okay, so we have 60 plus five. The answer is 65. Now it is kind of funky that we're adding here at the very end, but you could see why that 13 minus eight is five, 80 minus 20 is 60, and that you need to combine these two to get your final answer. Let's look at uh, number five. Well, I'll do number three. Once again, you want to write them vertically. 51 minus nine, and you're breaking it apart by place value. The five is worth 50. The one is worth one. The nine is in the ones place, so it is worth nine. And you can see, just like last time, you want to start on the right-hand side uh, in case you need to borrow. I need to borrow from the 50. That becomes 40. So I'm taking away 10 and moving it over here. 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 minus 9 is 2. And that's your final answer. Let's look at number 5. Once again, you want to write it vertically. And break it apart by place value. The 3 is worth 300. The 5 is worth 50. And the 7 in the 1s is worth 7. The 2 in the 100s place is worth 200. The 1 in the 10s place is worth 10. And the 4 in the 1s place is worth 4. You want to make sure you start on the right hand side again and go that way. 7 minus 4 is 3. 50 minus 10 is 40. And 300 minus 200 is 100. You're going to add up those last three digits. 100 plus 40 plus 3 is 143. Now hopefully when you get down here, you're able to do these in your head. You can see that that's 143. Same thing up here. Hopefully you can see that 60 plus 5 is 65.
Well, hopefully this helps you with lesson 1.9 using the break apart strategy.